All right, we're gonna get a bit of a wash here. So this is the before. We're gonna be doing a touchless wash, of course. It's not too, too bad after the last snowstorm. But you can see, it's dirty. So we're gonna get this washed up and I'll do a walk around afterwards. It's just over a week old. So I'm waiting for, uh, waiting for the car wash. You can see we have uh, a bit of a wait. There's one car in front of us, it's a two bay. And the thing is you have to wait until it gets to a certain temperature has to be over 20, 20 degrees, 25 degrees in order for the waterer and everything to work here in Colorado. You can see lots of people lining up. Uh, the only difference between me and them, I have Netflix to watch while I'm waiting. So I'll do a video when we get inside. Okay, it looks like it's our turn to go in. The gate is opening. I'm going to drive it on in here. Uh, here we go. I have to get up on this little bump thing. And let's see, I'm almost there. Here we go. And stop. I'm going to put it in park, and here we go. Let's see this. This is actually the second time I've done the touchless. Um, you saw how dirty it was beforehand. So we'll see how it works now. It did a bit of a under, or the wheels when I came in, which is uh, pretty cool. We're completely enclosed while it's doing this. We're not going to film the whole thing, but that's pretty much the system. They have those arms that go, they're about uh, six inches, eight inches from the car, blowing whatever it is that they're blowing out, the different soaps and ceramic coat, etc. So uh, we'll see what it looks like on the other side. Sit back and enjoy. through the wash let's see how that came out it's not too bad I definitely have to bring some towels next time and dry it off 
get really well underneath here. Still a lot of snow and ice under there, which is the main reason. Still a lot of snow and ice underneath there too. Oh yeah, there's a lot. See that? A lot of snow and ice still under there. Body's good, not too many scratches. But we're gonna have to go and get the snow and ice removed, so we'll do that next. Okay, got all the ice. From underneath there, a lot of it fell out. I would say there's about three or four inches on each tire. So that's all cleaned out now. So now we're gonna put it on the road. Okay, I gotta say, just turning feels a lot better right now. Uh, yeah. I noticed before that it, the tires were like grinding or something and now, oh, it's super smooth. It's like butter. I've never seen it like that before. It was just caked um, and it was solid. Usually I would see it, hey, yeah, you knock it and it comes off. And But this, this was thick, solid ice. I, I, I couldn't move it. I took a high pressure hot water, uh, hot, you know, sprayer at the car wash and it took good minute minute and a half for each wheel to get all of the and there's about three or four inches caked in the wheel well i i just personally i haven't seen it before i've lived in the northeast of the united states i've lived out here in colorado um for for a good 20 years so that that's new my, my truck never had that so something i'm gonna watch um i'm just gonna get it out it, and here's the thing the brushless uh system that i was using it couldn't get that stuff out from the tires um so i had to go into one of the individual bays get the high pressure sprayer get underneath there which remind me never to wear work clothes when you do that because that spray kicks back i'm absolutely uh dirty and drenched but it's all good um it's worth it uh, again, I'm not going to use the brush uh, car washes anymore. Um, I've been advised against it by a lot of people here on YouTube and by, uh, you know, just professional people who, who deal with paints on cars, etc. So I'm not going to be using um, the brush, uh, the brush, you know, car wash system. Like that one, actually, right over there. Breezer, who I used to use. Um, I'm only going to be using the brushless and in the winter time it looks like I have to use the brushless and I'm going to have to uh, use the, the individual bays to get that stuff out. So that's it for right now. Uh, we're going to drive the speed limit and dry the car. Uh, I got to remember to bring, I guess, towels or, or microfiber cloths next time. I am getting the car wrapped and ceramic coated on the 28th. so. We'll do that, but uh, for now, I'm just trying to do my best to take care of it. All right, uh, comments, please let me know any questions uh, that you might have about this, and I will be happy to answer. Bye.